Hello, everybody. So here we have a Furby Boom, and I recently found out that it actually communicates via sound in the ultrasonic band. And there's an actual Furby app that you can use to interact with this guy. And I had to put some uh, polarizing lenses on the on the, the camera just so you can see his eyes, because man, they're creepy. All right, so I'm having such a hard time with this guy. He's so much fun because not only does uh, the patent have some really interesting information on how his behavior winds up or her behavior winds up, you know, panning out in the various game types, but apparently there's this Furby VR microcontroller that goes underneath the hood of all of this, and I'm, I'm finding it absolutely amazing. It, I, I'd rather not rip apart a working Furby to put in a Linux computer like everyone else is doing. All right, so let's let's take a look at some of these little ultrasonic functions. All right, so let's turn my phone on. Let's uh, get our Furby app going. Now, we do have to turn the phone around, and it crashes a lot. Now, Furby's a loud mouth, so I'm going to wake him up in a little bit. But the whole idea behind this is that... Um, you basically just sending ultrasonic commands back and forth. It's called furbish. It's it's covered in the patent. So let's wake him up. Come on. Come on, Furbs. Wake up. Okay. So I can go into the pantry here. I can already hear the the high-pitched squeals of back and forth going on. So we'll select the donut. About <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> Crashed. So the whole idea here is right now that they're actually, yep, Furby's, man, he's giving me that migraine again. I think this is why a lot of adults absolutely hated this model of Furby. It's just they didn't realize the ear-piercing screeching that it, uh, it has. Like, uh, we can go to um, the boom box. Now, I think the reason why the app is crashing so much on my, my device is because it actually has multiple microphones, and it just sometimes doesn't know which one to listen from, so... And it even has a Furbish translator. Now, when you're looking through the patent, it'll actually uh, explain what Furbish means. Like friends love talking, oh my god. See, what's really interesting is whether or not this has some level of text-to-speech engine. Sound time? Talk more, talk more. Huh. Okay. <laughs> like you funny. Okay. Now we're going to try to put him to sleep with the app, and it always crashes when I do this. But he will sleep, or she. I, 
I keep hearing them. Well, oh, this is what. Come on. Come on, go sleep. So, God, I hate it when it does that. Really? All right. Um, lullaby. All right, let's try to see if we can get Furby to sleep. lenses fell off that's what happens when you use scotch tape okay so I think you get the idea here where because of the uh, the ultrasonic communications what else can we do with this maniacs little internal VR engine I mean it's got this VR Furby processor what can we do even on an ultrasonic level there's also a dude shut up What else can we do just with ultrasonic? There's also an EE prom in there that looks like it's I squared C that we can tap into. The uh, internal photos that I've noticed so far showing everything are epoxy blob tops, but we should still be able to access all of the necessary test points and bus points. <laughs> I just find it extremely interesting that if you look at some of the internal photos, <laughs> that oh I'm trying not to strangle this damn thing um god you'll find it really interesting that the VR microcontroller processor that runs this thing practically has got every single pad broken out and if this thing has internal text to speech you know capabilities I mean it's I find it extremely interesting what this onboard microcontroller is capable of. I just wish there was more documentation.